Hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, today I'm going to be discussing this small survival kit here, which is my school survival kit. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing you'll notice about this kit is that it's in a large pill bottle. Um, these are they're great for survival kits because they're instantly waterproof. You can just screw the cap on um, and they're waterproof. Um, as with most of my kits now, I include a large um, amount of duct tape on the outside because duct tape is just incredibly useful. Um, you don't need me to tell you that. <laughs> so everyone knows that. So let's unscrew the cap and straight away we've got a die here. Remember this is just for school so it's not going to be a wilderness kit um, just for basic survival or just um, for fun or anything. So obviously this die is a great way to um, get rid of boredom um, so that's why I included that in there. Just fun to play with. Um, also got a keyring here in case I need to attach anything into my bag. Um, it's a great thing to have in that kit. Um, I have got two Panadol tablets, but the other one is in here. So, yep, two Panadol tablets for mild pain relief, a headache or something like that. Take those. Um, and here I've also got a small nylon cable tie which is great for tying things together. Um, um, this is also great for pranking, which is another reason I have it in here, like zip tying people's shoelaces together or doors shut, things like that. So I thought I'd include that in there. Um, this is quite a small kit and it's crammed full of stuff, so it might take a little while to get some stuff out. This is a pencil, 2B pencil. Um, great for an exam if you forget your pencil case or something. You've always got a backup pencil. I also um, hot glued the end of this and that can be used as an eraser in a pinch. It works quite well actually. So yeah, I'd suggest including that in any in any kit. Uh, I've also got here this sealed straw container of cotton wool. So that's um, obviously, this is a survival kit so I do have some fire starting sources and this is obviously tinder for that. Um, which is a great resource. This cotton wool is quite good tinder. Um, this is my quick blade knife. Um, if you can just, if you just take, if I just take this um, tape off here, you'll see that I can just, um, I can just leave this knife like this, and it's glued in. So I've got a great cutting tool. I'm be using a set of scissors. I've also got a decent length of duct tape around here, just in case this this one here runs out or anything like that. I've also got, um, let's just tip this on this tin out, I've got some really small nail cutters, um, often I forget to cut my nails and I always remember when I'm at school so I thought this is a great um, item. It's also got nail cleaner and a nail file here. It's just a really nice small tool. Uh, and here I've got um, three or six matches actually and wrapped around the striker. I don't actually do this anymore, This is I've just had this kit for a while so I haven't replaced it, but um, I don't usually wrap the matches, put the matches uh, with the striker because it tends to degrade both of the match and the striker, so, but um, yeah, that's an easy way to start a fire. I've also got this large, um, well actually tiny signal mirror here, which is made of the back of an old CD. Um, this is actually surprisingly good, so um, nice cheap option for a signal mirror. I've also got um, uh, some dental floss here, which obviously you can use for flossing. You've got something stuck in your teeth, but you can also use it for sewing and fishing. Um, any sort of string you need, dental floss is a great alternative. Um, it's just very versatile. Um, I've also got, I think I've got a few more paper clips, no, no, there's two. Um, paper clips, like I've said in literally all of my other videos, I always have a paper clip or two. The MacGyver super tool, as some people call it, these things are incredibly versatile, have many uses across the board. So always, I'd always include, always include a paper clip wherever I, wherever I go. Um, this is a sewing needle uh, with a piece of hot glue on the end to keep the edge from sticking into anything. Um, obviously that's pretty easy to figure out what a sewing needle's for. This is a Phillips screwdriver. I was going to include a flathead but I didn't have enough space and 
there are more Phillips screws out there, I think, at least in my uh, town, my city, than um, flathead screwdrivers, so I just included this. Uh, I've also got some tweezers here, which I make out of a paper clip. I include these in lots of my kits just because they're so small. Tweezers are quite useful as well if you need to get something out of your finger or hand or pluck a hair or something. Um, yeah, it's a great small pair of tweezers. Um, I've also got a safety pin, like a paper clip. I include this item in nearly all of my kits. Um, and it's just so versatile and so useful. Uh, clothing repairs, fish hook, needle, any stabbing something, putting a hole through something. Um, safety pins, I have got it all. So I always include those. And down to the last few items of this kit, I've got a small hacksaw blade. You can cut through wood or metal. And I think I explained it in one of my other videos, but you can also attach it to this handle here and you've got a nice saw um, like that. So yeah, pretty useful. Also made it at a point at the end so I can pierce things with it. And, sorry, um, near the end I've got this small thing of salt as well, which is primarily would be used for flavouring food. Um, if I get some chips and they're not salty enough, I could just put some more salt on. But you could also make a saline solution out of that to protect um, yourself from infection. And last but not least, I've got this large pad of writing paper. Many, there's been many times when I've been caught at school without a book that I need for a class, and so this is a perfect um, way to combat that. Um, so yeah, that concludes my school kit. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any suggestions for further kits, future kits, um, or anything else, or any feedback on this video, um, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Um, and if you really enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. Any support on the channel is greatly appreciated. So, thanks for watching, and goodbye!